recording. <laughs> Welcome to episode three, everybody. Appreciate you coming back. Today on our gardening walkthrough, we're going to be on our myth and our storm. Our storm's a little wonky right now. We're going to try to fix up his... Uh, dead plants. Um, myth is kind of starting out as a gardener right now. And then... From there, if we get done a little bit earlier, we might do something special. I don't know yet. Might find out. Let's get into it. Myth is still in Crocotopia. He's an official level 26. Pretty clean. Alrighty. So, as you can tell, I gardened last night. Because these guys are still dancing and there's nothing I need to do to them. Our bell peppers, on the other hand, need some attention. It's just a small plot. There's I don't have a lot of seeds. I can totally you can you can also transfer seeds via um You can transfer seeds from other characters. Just go to your shared bank. Or go to your backpack and click shared bank when you go to your when you go over to your seeds. I'll show you how to do that in just a little bit. Rank one pests. Go to your pest spells, bug bolt, and we're golden. You can see progress. The elders actually. I'm actually closing in on elder for the boom shroom. Yay! All right. Does not matter what house you have, as long as you have a, as long as you have grass plots, you're good to go. Hello, how you doing today? I have, my, I have immunity because I'm at the doctor about to get blood work, but I joined because I'm terrified of needles and need some good content to watch while it happens. All right. Are you gardening counter potatoes? I am, Muneeb. I am. Eventually, yes. We go to our backpack. We can go over to our seeds and we can select what we want to put into uh, the, the shared bank or we can go to our click on our shared bank. And if there are seeds in there, we can pull them out. Right now, I should be okay. I am still rank one. I just see. I mean, you can make it go by go faster, like level up faster if you just click the the circles right now. Like, watch, boom, click, and I've already got XP. When you when you garden, uh, what is it? When you, what was I gonna say? I just completely lost my train of thought. What level is your myth? Level twenty six, I want to say. Level twenty six. You start. You can start gardening at level twelve, Muneeb. Oh my love for inside. I appreciate it. Oh, with the gut button. Yeah. I know I can't hear it, but I want to see you now. <laughs> All right, well, I did. Level 26 myth. When, okay, that's what it was. When you do garden, when you, when you harvest a brand new plant that you haven't harvested yet, you get more XP. So I just harvested it, and it gave me, I want to say... 50 exp experience, I want to, I think. Five, it gave me five experience. So when I harvest it again, uh, it gives me five experience. All right, well, uh, let's see if we just harvest. Oh, that's what it was. If you harvest a spell at Elder for the first time, it will give you more experience. If you harvest it again at the, at, um, at Elder, it'll give you a little bit less, but it won't give you the same. So there we go, orange jalapeno, which I'm not gonna use. But we do have, do I have a, I don't. I do have more uh, plants though, so let's go ahead and plant those. Uh, it's a small plant, or a small plot, so I guess we'll, we'll put it with our other small plots. It's not really, I should really double check to make sure it does like everything that is right here. Uh, small plot just like stinkweed, perfect. It likes snapdragons, I don't have any snapdragons. We do have red cut potatoes. But I don't have large plots. I'm not level, I'm not rank three yet. These are cool. These give out a lot of gold. Stall palmettos. Really good. Um, yeah, that, that's pretty much it on my myth. Not a lot to do. So let's head on over to our storm and get that taken care of. Bam. Storm has got a lot of problems on his plot because I didn't pay attention. 
I think I started planting on my storm when I when Beast Moon was out when I first started playing Beast Moon. Let's see how boxed it is because I remember I had Beast Moon planters. I don't know if I have Beast Moon seeds though. Beast Moon seeds take no time to hatch at all. Yeah, so here's already a dead plant because I haven't paid attention to it at all. I only have one plant. Okay. So I need to transfer some stuff over then. This will be a good example. Right. Um, let's revive. Because I only have so much energy. Oh, what's up, fish? Hi, you, I'm not... Okay. Perfect. So it looks like we're going to rank eight. I don't have... I'm not ranking. I'm going to rank one still. Um, let's pick these up because I don't like them. And then let's head over to another character and try to transfer over some seeds that are rank one. I'm going to head over on my, let's see, balance is going to be a great option. We'll go for that. And I'm going to change houses just so you don't see my plot right now because... I'm gonna have to save that for another episode, if you know what I mean. And into the house. Oh, I forgot they updated the chest. All right, so let's go over to our seeds. Uh, as long as there is a rank one spell right here, Angora Bunny Ears. Move to shared bank. Throwing as many rank one spells as I possibly can find. Perfect. Beast Moon Seeds. Bell Peppers. Blue Huckleberries. We're going to make... We're, apparently, we're going to make sure our storm never stops part of gardening. It's always best to start to start gardening young. Or when you're at a, low, when you're at a lower level. Because when you do eventually have that... XP experience and you have all of those uh oh what's it called when you have all of those mega snacks and all that kind of stuff it helps out a lot moonflower oh an orange dandelion okay rank two and cocoa berries uh it's a large plot do not have access to large plots just yet a lot of level ups also exactly it's just gonna help out sour pickle pickle don't you just hate a sour pickle pickle look at that ultra boom shroom perfect ultra dandelion i have two ultra dandelions for my storm okay that's all i'm gonna fit in the shared bank sound good I do not have any energy gear for my storm or for my myth as of right now. But hopefully in the future I can do I can change that. So let's go over to the bank. We're gonna fix that garden over there. I might actually run out of energy on my storm, to be honest. All right, we pull all these. It definitely won't say backpack is full because, well, low inventory. Eh. Why is there one patch of grass here? Anyway. Let's get into this. Oh my gosh, that's so many small plots I gotta plant. Uh, why can't... Oh, rank four. I read that as rank one. Sounds good. Three, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, forty, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. Uh, minus two. You twenty-eight. Got you got your You got, you got your baited. You got your baited. Cool. 
knocking it out. All right, so we have a, uh, oh no, no, these are medium plots, okay. So we have three, five, so let's worry about small plots first. I don't wanna get too crazy. So let's plant the two beast moon seeds in the only plot that I can plant them in, which is beast moon planter. You can receive a beast moon planter by playing one match in beast moon. If you've never done beast moon, you can receive two beast moon planters. If you play 25 matches of Beast Moon, you can receive two more. So you can have a total of four Beast Moon planters. And then I think every 25 matches you receive one more? I'm not 100% not sure on that one. But I do know that Beast Moon Seeds are helpful for when you are crafting and you can transfer over the reagents. And it's very fast. They grow very quickly. Look at this. Look how quick it's going. That green line. And then just like that. It should be maturing just a little bit. Let's get these let's get these medium plots planted. So let's what we're gonna do is with this with the storm having so many seeds, we're actually gonna just put all of the separate seeds together. So all the Angora bunny ears are going to be planted next to each other. And then we'll have a certain like a different plot for small plots and another section for other medium plot spells. Any minute now they'll be <laughs> they'll be mature. And let's throw those bad boys on the grill. Oh, there we go. Okay. For some reason I wasn't lined up. All good. No big deal. Just left click on this on the seed. Left click to plant. Uh, okay. Yes, I know you can jump. Let's see here. Two medium plots there. Another three there. Four. Okay, so we just need to plant four more then? Two, no, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, we need eight more medium plots. And we're gonna plant those over here just to keep them separated. Try to keep it organized, of course. There it is. Beast Moons are now mature. They will be elder in like 20 minutes. I might actually harvest them this ma <laughs> this episode. Even though I just planted them. So we plant eight of them. The goal is to make sure that the tier three spells. Oh wait, no, I'm only rank one. Never mind. Again, keep it as organized as possible when you're a low level. If you have a ton of seeds from other characters, it will just help you in all overall. Uh just I'm learning that from experience again. Boom. Also try to keep the same uh, seed next to each other. Cause like an idiot, when I first started gardening, I planted a bunch of seeds in different spots. I was like, oh, let's put two cocktails over here and let's put two honeysickles over here and let's put one honeysickle over here and one over here. It was just all separated. It was all just disgusting. Didn't like it. But yep, yeah, mediums are over here. And then we'll plant smalls. All the small ones will probably be over where the fish is. We'll pick up the fish, move them over. Put them somewhere more enjoyable. And then we're going to get three. The groups of vines which we'll throw right here. And three honey sickles will go in the middle. This is the easy part. The hardest part is trying to keep up with it. So I'll come back tonight and all of these will need attention.
Oopsies. Uh, I fixed the music. I didn't. I totally didn't end it on accident. All right, there we go. There's our medium plots. Now we have. How close are you to Elder? Oh, okay. You, you might take longer. Uh, two, six, eight, ten, nine, ten, eleven, wait, two, six, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen small plots. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep them in groups of five, just so it seems more organized. Oops. Okay, fish are gonna have to move. I'm sorry, Koi. Come here. You get your own island. Can I put you up? <laughs> Why are you tiny sometimes and then big again? You know what? We're going to throw you over here. What kind of... Hang on a second. There we go. Swim. I think that'll be okay if we do if we keep them in groups of five. Because then we can do two of one spell and then group them with a third. We'll throw them right here. Oh yeah, it's already it's already getting to elder. We're good. Looking pretty clean. And things that grow taller, make sure you... That's another thing. If you don't know how tall they're going to grow, uh, grow them separately from other things. If you if you know one spell is small and the other one you don't know, just keep it separated. It's the best thing you could do. Bam. Alrighty. So let's do, what do we got the most of? Huckleberries and boom shrooms, along with honeybee plants. So we'll throw two huckleberries together. We'll throw two boiled peanuts together, and then we'll throw a moonflower. Because I know how tall those get. These will all be the same, about the same size. Actually, we'll do boom shrooms instead. Boom shrooms with the moonflower. The pickle pickle will sit pretty tall. So I think that'll be the odd man out. Or, ooh. Do we do the ultra boom shroom? With the boom shroom? I think we'll do that, because that's all boom shroom. Even better. Hot cell five. All right. Cell five. Nailed it. And then... Let's move this over here just a little bit more. There we go. I'm going to run out of energy. I'm actually going to run out of energy. It's a miracle. Is this lined up at all? Nope. Perfect. It's totally what I was going for. I think what I might do is throw one, have one section of six, maybe? I don't know. I'll figure it out. Damn. All right, there's our next set of five. Oh, that's four boiled peanuts. Okay, you know what? That's perfect. Then we'll throw our moonflower next to him. Cause then our dandelion and our pickle will sit somewhat same height with the moonflower. Oh, out of energy. I don't always I don't have, always have crowns on me. I just happen to be lucky and have these. It's like, you know what? Let's just I got crowns. Let's just, let's just do some gardening. Why not? 
It'll be enjoyable. All right, let's double check. Oh yeah, they're we're good. Uh, ooh, no, 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 Ultra Dandelion. These will sit same height. And then let's do one more plot over here. Right, two, three, four, five. Yes, perfect. And we'll set it right here. Easy peasy. This is going to be a lot of energy used because I'm only rank one. But in the end, it will all pay off. Boom. And then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw the, the extra two. So this is the three, the, the line of three. We're going to put the line of two facing the stairs. Just keep it nice and simple. Keep it away from everything. And then as we get into the rank two spells and the rank three spells, the rank three spells will definitely hold up. It'll be in the same, the same thing. And then we'll eventually add in like more plots in the middle, in between maybe, depending on how it's going to look. Other than that, we should be good. Yo, what's on? What's going on, Big Fox? Or Big Ox? Nah, I don't I don't cheat. Ox, how you doing today? Good to see you again. Hope all's well. Hope you had a good Thursday. Let's see. Alright, Tiger Lily's gonna sit on the outside while the Moonfall is gonna sit on the inside. So these three will be pretty tall. Honeybee plant. They sit pretty... I would say... Uh... Uh... What is that called? Uh, not thigh height. Hip height. That's what it was. Gardening, I assume. Snow Leopard, how you doing? Welcome back to the stream. Hope you're doing well today. Hope you had a good Thursday as well. It speeds up the game a little bit. I know it does, but... Doing it legit... Makes it way better. I don't cheat. Uh, let's see here. Perfect. Looking pretty good now. There's the storm's garden. So we worked on our storm and our mist today. I don't know. We'll be baiting people. In yeah. So yeah, there we go. Um, pretty much. That's what I thought we were going to be able to harvest the boost moon immediately, but no, we got to wait like 20 minutes on that, but we should be okay. Alrighty. That's going to do it for episode two. Thank you. So or episode three, episode three, I didn't say anything. I don't know if you heard. Appreciate y'all stopping by. What we're going to do now is uh, episode four. We're going to be on our balance. We're going to get some gold farming done so we can get some red barn farms made or uh, bought and transferred over to other characters like my fire. For, for those that did not see that episode, go check that out in the description. Um, yeah, that's... Uh, that's going to be episode three. I'll catch you all later. Appreciate y'all stopping by. It means a lot to me. I will see you all in episode four for some balance gardening and some gold farming. Much love. Big heart.